Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome to my channel Academic Jewel. Today we are going to discuss first chapter from grade 9 science that is scientific studies. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe this channel and for notification hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and share this video among your friends and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Here in this unit, we are going to discuss scientific learning, fields of science, scopes of science, opportunities and challenges of science, safety rules while doing practical works or experiments, scientific measurement, scientific notation, metric prefix, least count, and average. Science is a subject which gives us the true explanation for every phenomenon around us. It is based on practical activities and research. If a question or problem rises, the scientists conduct experiments, collect constant data, and find the solutions. Science is involved in every aspect of our life. We follow scientific method while performing the experiments of science. It is a method which consists of scientific use of different steps it gives correct idea to a person to enter into the problem solve it and derive the conclusion the main step of scientific learning methods are as follows observe and ask question look and ask what do you want to learn it is also called identification of a problem for my hypothesis, make a good guess on what you think the answer to your question might be. Manage required materials. List the materials you will need to complete the experiments. Conduct an experiment. Do the test of your idea by doing an experiment. Get the result. Draw conclusion and finally communicate the result. Science process skill. It includes observing qualities. Questioning, measuring, quantities, sorting, classifying, interpreting, predicting, experimenting, and communicating the findings based on evidence. Scientific learning. Scientific literacy means that a person can ask, find, or determine answer to questions derived from curiosity about everyday experiences. It means that a person has the ability to describe, explain, and predict natural phenomena. So here is one question from this uh, heading. So why is scientific learning important? Science education gives the students the opportunity to gain a better knowledge of how and why things function. Science can teach children about the world that surrounds them. Everything from human anatomy to techniques for transportation, science can reveal the mechanisms and the reason for com complicated system. There are different steps of scientific learning or scientific method, which is identify a problem or make an observation, ask relevant question, formulate a possible hypothesis, collect evidence and data, analyze and evaluate the collected data, draw a result and communicate. Fields of science. Science is the systematic history of the physical and the natural world through measurement, experiment, observation, and formulation of law. Following are the branches of science. So mainly science has six branches. They are biology, physics, chemistry, astronomy, all science, and environment science. Again, the biology, it has three subsets. They are botany, geology, and microbiology. Similarly, all science, it has also a uh, few subsets. Uh, they are geology and metrology. Now, one by one, we are going to discuss the different branches of science. So here it comes biology. It is the branch of science that deals with the history of living organism. And the biologist is a person who studies living organism. Biology, it has a great importance in our day-to-day -day life. So here I have mentioned three importances of biology. First one is, it helps to understand how living beings work, function and interact on different levels. Next is, it helps to develop medicine and 
treatment for diseases. Similarly, it also helps to produce a genetically improved crop plants. Biology it, uh, is classified into three branches. First one is botany, so which is the study of plants. Second one is geology, which is the study of animals. And third one is microbiology, which is the study of microorganism. Next branch of science is physics. And physics is the branch of science that deals with the structure of matter and how the fundamental constituent of the universe interact. And the person who study physics are called physicists. Third branch is chemistry. Chemistry, it is the scientific study of the properties and behavior of matter. It is, an, it is a natural science that covers the elements that make up matter to the compounds composed of atoms, molecules, and ions. Their composition, structure, properties, behavior, and the changes they undergo during a reaction with, with other substances. The person who is study chemistry, they are known as chemist. Similarly, next uh, branch of um, science is all science, and it is the study of components of the earth, such as land, air, and water. It includes the study of atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, and biosphere. There are different subsets of earth science, such as geology, meteorology, etc. First one is geology. It deals with the history of origin, history, evolution, and structure of Earth's crust. The person who study Earth are called geologists. Next one is meteorology. It deals with the atmosphere and its phenomena, such as weather and climate. And the person who study meteorology, they are called meteorologists. Next branch of science is astronomy. It deals with the celestial bodies, space, and the physical universe as a whole. And the person who is studying astronomy, they are called astronomers. So after this, we are going to discuss the major science categories, their branches, and the probable profession is called. So here are a few categories, branches, and professional fields. First one is chemistry. So in chemistry, no. So branches of chemistry, uh, it includes organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, biochemistry, etc. And the professional fields related to chemistry are chemists, pharmacologists, etc. Next category is physics. So branches of physics, it includes modern physics, thermodynamics, mechanics, astrophysics, nuclear physics, optics, engineering, and radiology. And the professional field related to physics are civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, radiologist, etc. Next category of science is biology and uh, its branches are botany, geology, genetics, agriculture, medicinal sciences. And the professional field related to biology are doctor, veterinary doctor, genetic engineer, soil specialist, crop specialist. And finally, interdisciplinary sciences. Its branches are geology, astronomy, environment science. And the professional fields related to interdisciplinary sciences are geologists, astronomers, environmentalists. Now we are going to discuss achievements and challenges of science and technology. So here are a few areas, achievement and opportunity and challenges. First one is health. Health, so achievements in area of health. Easy for the treatment of any kinds of diseases. Production of vaccines for preventable diseases. Challenges in area of health is Frequent use of axial damaged cells and increase the incidence of cancer. Next area of uh, next area is education, and the achievements under education are ICT research, distance learning, etc. Increase in the access to information, and the challenges in the area education is low academic performance, badly harming the socialization of children. Third area is agriculture. 
and achievement in sector of uh, agriculture are manufacture of insecticides and pesticides, use of chemical fertilizers, improved sales, improved farming system, etc. Similarly, challenges in the area of ag agriculture are health hazard in human degradation of soil quality. Next area is transportation and the achievements in the, uh, transportation are railways, airways, waterways, uh, roadways, etc. Challenges in this area are air pollution, climate change, etc. Next area, area is industries and achievement in this area are use of ultra modern equipment, increased access to commodities. Similarly, challenges in this area area are environmental pollution, global warming, etc. Now we are going to discuss the safety measures that we have to follow while performing scientific experiments. First one, we must perform experiment only in the presence of science teacher. Second, we should never mix chemical carelessly. Third, we should wear apron. Fourth, we should always keep our work area tidy and clean after use. Fifth, we should never taste or smell chemicals. Sixth, we should wash hands with soap and water after completing the ex experiments. So next heading is scientific measurement. In science, a measurement is a collection of quantitative or numerical data that describes a property of an object or event. A measurement is made by comparing a quantity with a standard unit. Scientific notation. Very small and very large numbers are expressed in power of 10, which is known as scientific notation. Scientific notation, it is very important because it makes calculation with too large or small number easy that is zeros are no longer used to set the decimal points following points should be kept in our mind while expressing number in power of 10 the base should be always 10 the exponent must be a non integer non zero integer that means it can be either positive or negative the absolute value of the coefficient is greater than or equal to 1, but it should be less than 10. Coefficient can be positive or negative number including whole and decimal numbers. The mantise carries the rest of the significant digits of the number. Let us understand how many places we need to move the decimal points after the single digit number with the help of the below representation. If the given number is multiples of 10, then the decimal point has to move to the left and the power of 10 will be positive. Example, 6000 equals to 6 into 10 to the power 3 is in scientific notation. If the given number is smaller than 1, then the decimal point has to move to the right. So the power of 10 will be negative. Example, 0 0.006 equals to 6 into 0 0.001 into 6 equals to 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 is in the scientific notation. Some of the example of scientific notations are 4.9 into 10 to the power 8, 1.23 into 10 to the power 9, 5.05 into 10 to the power 7, 9.7 into 10 to the power minus 8, 2.12 into 10 to the power minus 5. Here are a few solve questions uh, related with scientific notation. Convert 0 0.0000046 into scientific notation. For this question, so we have to move the decimal point to the right of 0 0.0000046 up to 7 place. The decimal point was moved 7 place to the right to form the number. 4.6. Since the number are less than 10 and the decimal is moved to the right, hence we use a negative exponent here. 0 0.0000046 equals to 4.6 into 10 to the power minus 7. 
this is the scientific notation so here next question similar to this one by three zero one zero 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 in scientific notation so here we have to move the decimal to the left eight place so it is positioned to the right of the left most non-zero digit 3.01000000 remove all the zeros and multiply the number by 10 now the number has become 3.01 since the number is greater than 10 and the decimal is moved to left therefore we use here a positive exponent hence 3.01 into 10 to the power 8 is the scientific notation of the number similarly here is next question so convert 1.36 into 10 to the power 7 from scientific notation to a standard notation given 3.1 3 given 1.36 into 10 to the power 7 in scientific notation exponent is 7 since the exponent is positive and we need to move the decimal play decimal place 7 place to the right therefore 1.36 into 10 to the power 7 equals to 1.36 into 1 and 7 zeros which will be equals to 1360000 now we will move to our metric prefix it is an easy way of expressing multiples and so multiples of any defined units in the SI designation of multiples and subdivisions of any unit may be arrived at by combining with the name of the unit the prefixes deca hecto and kilo meaning respectively ten hundred and thousands and deci centi and milli meaning respectively one tenth one hundredth and one thousandth so here are some of the metric prefix they are symbol and multiplication factors exa it is united by capital e and its uh, multiplication factor is 10 to the power 18 petas symbol is capital p and multiplication factor is 10 to the power 15 similarly here are mm, other prefixes like tera giga mega kilo hecto deca deci centi milli micro nano pico femto atto etc next heading is list count list count it is defined as the smallest value that a particular instrument can measure accurately and it is very important in scientific measurement because it helps to get accurate reading in measurement lesser the list count value of any instrument higher will be its accuracy next topic is average it is defined as the value which is obtained by adding all the items of series and dividing this total by the num by the number of items precision or precise measurement it refers to the closeness of two or more measurements to each other uses of average so average it provides the overall picture of the series it represents a large set of numbers with a single number it enables us to compare two or more groups in terms of typical performance by this we have completed notes of this unit scientific study i hope this video was useful to you if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you have any queries, drop the comments in comment section. See you on next video. Thank you.